<laughs> so this is a very interesting matchup between Evan and James. We got Fen Rao, Nadru, both at PS9, with Nadru having veteran instincts, mm -hmm. Kato having dead eye concussion missiles and guidance chips, and Azila's recruit as a blocker. Mm -hmm. um, not very common that you see a scum list that doesn't have Tawny Mind Link, first of all, and also has blockers, the traditional ace archetypes all over the place. Indeed, James shuns Tawny Mind Link. This is what he does instead. Uh, so. I mean, that, that Kato build means Kato can almost definitely get a focus uh, to fire his missiles, or her missiles, depending upon her gender, I have no idea. Because uh, Kato can steal a focus from an ally at the top of the combat phase. Yes, and we have Evan who has Ahsoka with veteran instincts, uh, with Sabine Rend, Scavenger Crane, Sizing Charge, Capture Ty, and a Sabine's Masterpiece. And the trick here is that you, you look at this and you're like, oh, okay, just a soak of bombs. Who cares about that, right? But in our top, uh, in our fifth game, he managed to catch my old Terok in, in uh, range two with, uh, with the post, um, oh, sorry, beginning combat focus from Ahsoka, giving Kornhorn an action, and then PCL action off that. Catches me in range two, I get lucky, and doesn't act, didn't actually take any damage from a double tap from Kornhorn. But okay. oh my god, is that is that a scary, scary combo to have? Indeed. And we've got the usual build on Korin, with PTL, R2-D2, FCS, and Engine, and Biggs, with, also with his usual build. So, X-Wing fans, we are going to have us a match. It looks like we're in the middle rock setup. Big cluster in the middle. Uh, both of these have really agile, dodgy ships with good maneuvers, so it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't impair them too much. But with James having more ships, we're going to see how this goes. Indeed, and that zealous recruit is not to be underestimated. That thing puts out hurt. Definitely not. Can't be ignored, but you don't want to shoot at it either because it is, in fact, the cheapest ship on his list. Actually, that's not true. Kato's Kato a little cheaper, but it does. it's not an apparent target that you want to yeah. shoot off the bat. Indeed. So, what's Evan got to watch out for more than anything else here? What, what, what has got to be his strategy in doing this? Look at him measuring stuff. It's like a science. It's so Look precise, at right? Just to make sure that it's all... Just to make sure it's all, it's all, uh, it's all neat and tidy. It's gonna be interesting to see which direction they take this fight with rocks between them. Mm -hmm. So Corrin is in front of Biggs. In a straight line. It's not a pinwheel, it's just a straight line. And I'm sure you'll see why in a second when he uses his focus from Ahsoka to, uh, to boost him out to get that first strike. Oh dear, Evan has the initiative. And that doesn't bowl well for him with a PS9 the Drew and a PS9 Fen on the table. Yeah. James may just sack uh, Nadru in order to put a conk into Ahsoka. But you know what? I said the same thing. Um, I played uh, Fenrao, Uterok, and a contract scout. And I said the same thing. I had a 97 point initiative bid, and I gave him first player. Mm -hmm. And he still manages to uh, to play really well, and I couldn't kill uh, couldn't kill Ahsoka in time. And she mm -hmm. managed to drop two bombs on me. Ooh. So here we have it. Drew off to the side, Fen right in the middle, and we have the Kato's and Zealous Recruit up at the top. So, from first glance, it looks like the engagement's gonna happen at the bottom of the ed bottom of the table, relative mm -hmm. to us. Um, but we'll see where uh, where the ships go in the first turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll probably get something fairly non-committal from James here. And let's see what's go what's going on this. Too straight, too straight. General, too straight. That leaves him open to hard turn in next turn if he chooses, or I to... think he's gonna boost here. No, oh no, focus. I'm just gonna wait. It's not a bad move. He still has room to uh, three hard turns to his left, or just to blast past the rocks and try and get behind uh, behind his uh, Evan's ships. And we've got a turn from Biggs or a bank. Got a little little bank there to uh, to make some room. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad move because now he can hard turn in to cut that angle right through the rocks. There's a straight line there if you, if you look at it. He can yep. have, have a, he has a three hard turn that will allow him to go through those rocks without being scared. Man, 
I don't know what I would do if I was Evan. I'd, I'd want to kill Najuru so bad. The scavenger crane on it. It's two rounds of con concussion missiles. But it's very dangerous to rush Najuru at this point because if you do rush her, mm -hmm. um, Fan comes off to the side and just nails you for five dice. Or you don't get, get, get Najuru in the first engagement. And then it's going to be very hard to kill later on. So just leapfrogging. I like the curve. And he's barrel rolling with Corrin. So it looks like he's just gonna block us. Okay. <laughs> looks like it's that is the case, unless he. Uh, oh no, he does he's one hard just to make thing. sure. As we to maneuver. And the Drew opens with a three straight. Or is that a four straight? Looks like a four straight. Yeah. Because the uh, closest rock is distance two, which is five range. Yeah, looks like a four straight. So opens this it up. good for Evan. Gets him real close though, but Evan is in a straight line to be able to take advantage to, uh, mm -hmm. of that, of his uh, five straight from Corrin. Yeah, it's very unlikely that Fen will be able to get range one next round. Oh, the Fen is in a very good banking position here. Sure. Um, so now Evan has to choose. Does he go after Fen or does he go after <laughs> the Drew? In either case though, there's a missile coming his way, mm -hmm. because I don't think he'll be fast enough to cut into range one from Nadru. I don't think there's any way he can get that target lock off Nadru once Nadru target locks. And it'll be interesting to see what James decides to prioritize his first target. I mean, Cornhorn, you can knock some knock the shields off, maybe you can get mm -hmm. lucky and get a haul in, but unless you get 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 uh, Biggs killed, you can't finish a uh, Cornhorn. He just go runs away to me gems. Indeed. So. Yeah, looks like he's gonna have to go for bigs. So round two here, let's see what happens. It's really clear that his uh his, his fan's gonna bank in here. Like uh, I don't see him being conservative and nope. just uh because there's hardly any risk, right? Unless unless Evan does a really clever thing and traps him in range two. And he can do that, but then he has to take missiles. In any case, it's not a not a great play to try and go off the fan really early. So the Zealous Recruit decides to join the fight. Power turns to his left and the boost. Hmm. Not a bad move at all. He's in a good jousting position yep. for next turn. If Evan does do hard twos, or hard three, I suppose. Uh, he's, he's banking two with bigs. I thing. thought the bank three was what was coming. That's not bad. Keeps in range three. We'll mm -hmm. see where Fen ends up. Fen could end up in range two. Um, and have to boost in to try and get the get the jump onto the ships. Yeah, and so Kato is doing nothing this round. Kato's just hanging out. That is really good news. Oh wow, something got very quiet in here. Yeah. Very good news for Evan. Only a bank, only a bank two. Wow. And on the bank two, keeps him relatively in line. Mm -hmm. Biggs is still uh, being uh, sorry. Uh, Biggs is protecting Corin. Mm -hmm. uh, unless the Naju missile comes in, I think Naju is going to go after Biggs here. Oh, I agree. With, with all with the Kato shooting into the bag, in you could back. potentially just kill her, kill her in one turn. Mm -hmm. Four straight. Oh, four straight. Say four straight. Oh man. I guess he thought uh, Evan's gonna slow roll, but here we are. The big question is that range one. If that's range one, that's a dead and it's Drew. So his target lock is Ahsoka. Yep, let's try and get her off the board first, which is a smart move. She, uh, mm -hmm. Ahsoka has seismic charges, which is bad news for Fen. Mm-hmm. Right about the three, and yep, just close the distance. The question is that range two too big because he could take some damage if he is. Yeah, uh, definitely boosting him won't be range one, so it's, uh, it's it doesn't look question. like it. But even so, though, James has put uh, Evan in a bit of a tough place to choose targets. Yep. No, Nadru is the target quite clearly. The question is, is he going to spend Ahsoka's focus to pump Corrin up? Keep in mind that Soka still has that little trick for uh, for Corrin. Yeah. So you see, Corrin didn't push the limit that time, so he's definitely going to do it. Yeah. So what's he going to do here? Is he going to try and? Oh no, Soka's firing. Oh, so he didn't? No, he didn't. He didn't do it. He just. Uh... I think it's a good choice. For the capture tie title. Oh, that's one hit. Yep. And then a one evade. So we're all so good. Nothing. 
Not the best use of that capture tie title, but at the same time, if Biggs dies, then he should be safe. Well, Biggs ain't oh, dying this sorry. round. Oh, no, not likely you're right. So, range, range, three, three, range three from man. He gets. Uh, Looks I'm, like a with target lock is three hits, yep. focus target locks. So. And Biggs rolls two, takes one. Right, pretty good for Biggs. Not a bad exchange. <coughs> and here comes the concussion missile. And he gets additional dice. Five, five dice, dice custom missile. Whoa. Great play by James. I don't see how Ozoka survives. Oh, oh, and there's a... Uh, oh, one. Guidance chips for four damage. Or four, yeah. four hits. Uh, Ahsoka. Two paint. Oh, two paints. Only takes two. Survives. Nice. Great news for Evan. It's, uh, and to having that missile spent means that Biggs won't be, uh, won't be eating it. Well, he's got scavenger crane, so all, <coughs> all James needs to do is kill somebody. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, or have some one of his own guys die. Of course, if it's Nidru, that's no good. Right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if Corrin double taps him here. Oh, yeah. I think that's unfortunately range two for Corrin, but we'll see. Uh, no, it's range one. Mighty close. Oh, no, no, range two. So, Evan needs some luck here, and he gets it. Two hits and a focus. Focus, focus, focus three. three. Oh, and the Drew Rove blanks out and takes two, two shields. Yeah. And one more. <coughs> He's definitely going to double tap and finish him off here now. no reason not to. Unless Biggs finishes him off, because Biggs, that's, oh, yeah. a, that's a better shot. Well, we'll be Biggs honest. might still be taking heat from that Zealot. Um, at that point, though, I might just eat the damage to uh, sure. make sure yeah, that your shot right. goes through. Get, get, get him the heck off the board. Get that the Drew nasty the Drew off the board. Yep. Although it is almost guaranteed kill with uh, with Cornhorn if he has target lock, he doesn't have a focus, so it's fairly likely that he'll, he'll roll two hits, but maybe not three, mm -hmm. even with the reroll. All right, what's Big going after? No, oh, he is going Pointing after Fenton. Fenton. Two. <laughs> oh. and he takes them both. Oh no! Auto oh, thrusters. Auto thrusters. So he takes one. That's not bad. That's not a bad shot, but I'm surprised he took that shot. Yeah, I agree. I, I would have shown it, Drew. Oh man. And a double tap here from Corn Horn. Oh, only one. Yeah. And he gets evade and survives. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. If that was the right call to uh, to shoot Ben Rao at range three. No, I I totally think he should have gone the other way. I think he got greedy, to be honest. You got to count on bad dice. Not only that, but now that now Corn Horn is vulnerable because he's he's double tapped. If he didn't have yeah. to double tap, he would have been in a much better position. Yeah. But with that double tap now, Cornhorn has to uh, has to be a little more evasive here, and Ben is in a really good position to to just uh, get in there. Range one bumps maybe doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it's on a tiny list, so he wants his actions. So yeah. it really depends if Evans will be able to block him. But he's Evans got some nasty shit falling behind Ben Rao mm -hmm. with the protector right behind him. Well, here Evan does not want to block Fen with Biggs because if he does, then uh, Fen just shoots Ahsoka. That's true. And That's Ahsoka true. on one hull is recipe for deadness. That's true. Yeah, I don't know what I do here if I'm Evan. I don't think Ahsoka can really escape out of, uh, out of any uh, any positions here, regardless. No. I think uh, what's his name is Drew is just going to do one straight here. It's probably the best call. Yeah. So Ahsoka could do a three straight herself. Yeah. Although there is a nasty combo here if he can pull it off. If Ben Rao can kill Ahsoka, mm -hmm. the Drew gets his missile back. Yeah. And it will be with Torp or sort of missile uh, Biggs in the back if he just does, does a one bank or try and get either of the ships in the arc. This is a it's it's a bad position for Evan right now. How about four K for Biggs? Um, that could work. 4K for Corrin, 4 straight for Ahsoka. I don't know if the 2 hard from Fen will, will land him on the rock. 2 hard from Fen? Uh, yes it would. Uh, looks mighty close though. Maybe then a 2 bank from Fen is not a bad call. Mm -hmm. And he can actually just then boost, get uh, range on Ahsoka without bigs in between. Yep. So that's bad. So he can't do that. I don't know what Evan's gonna do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he ran really, all that damage. He really needed to keep killing the Drew there. Yeah, he really, really, he got greedy. He, he really did. needed to do it. He did. <laughs> yeah, if you can't kill a missile bearing Z95 in the first round, you're in trouble. Especially when scavenging green, too. Yeah.
It could be that uh, it's probably not a great call, but maybe you can sacrifice the Soka to kill Nidru. Trade one for one. Mm -hmm. That can happen. Not really in the best interest for, uh, for Evan here, because considering Cornhorn can't attack this turn, so he has to yeah. run. And Biz can't can't really get in a great position to be able to do, do good damage on uh, on James Ships. Really don't know what what, uh, what Biggs is gonna do here. Maybe a, a two bank, try and go head to head with the Protectorate, but that's where they're strong. Yeah, so I think that Protectorate's doing a five straight followed by a barrel roll to block. Oh, I, I don't know about that five straight. He could be doing a, a three straight maybe just to get him in front. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you might be right. And that, that also guarantees that um, even if Biggs does a, does a 4K, he won't be able to catch a Protectorate. Mm -hmm. And he'll have to fight Ben Round. Up there at the top, Kato must do a looks like a four straight. Looks like four straight might or get two by bank. that rock or three bank, I suppose. I think the four straight is fine. Yeah. Let's say she does hit that rock. So what, right? So you'll you'll yeah. get the protector to give her the focus, so that she can fire the concussion at yes. Biggs. That's nasty. Yeah. So I think Biggs has to go fast here. I think it has to be a four. <clears throat> well, they can hear us. I don't know. If they're pretty far away, it looks like they're they're fine. Regardless, though, definitely James has the, uh, the upper oh, yeah. hand here. Yeah, not taking that Z off the board. Cause... And even if he did, we still have to consider all these all these factors that he has set up a great first turn and a great second turn. So, oh, he, so he does do the five straight. Mm -hmm. Maybe trying to get that block off, off to uh, onto onto Biggs. So Biggs looks like that will block that one bank. It's kind of close. It's hard to say. Yep. Oh, but that that distance means that maybe Ben can do a two straight. Yep, he's gonna have to barrel roll the the, the, the recruit. It was... No, we'll see. What, what did you just do? Uh, that's just him moving the out. Oh, he does okay. barrel. Yep. yep. So he yep. did do the uh, the two straight with Ben. Seems like. Yep. It looks like a four K from Biggs would clear that. Oh, it's hard to say. So would a four straight. It's kind of My money's on the clearing. On the clearing. What's happening? What's he waiting for range for? I don't know what that was for. I don't know either. I don't know what's going on. There's some sort of discussion. Find out. Okay. I'll hang out here. <laughs> oh, I see what's happening here. There's a question of whether or not he uh, misplaced Ben when he put him back. Oh, that's pretty nice for Evan. Hmm. Nice play by him. Good call. So there's a little bit of a, a controversy there where uh, Big seems like he was out of range. He was uh, in range two for Fen, but mm -hmm. when they rolled the dice, it was range three. Okay, it you was. got the four yeah. dice auto thrusters. Yeah. But when they put the ships back down here, mm -hmm. Biggs is in fact in range two apparently. Mm -hmm. Don't know how that happened. Don't know um, why why that was the case. But um, at least right. now, like we cleared that up, and uh, it's all good now. Okay. So so Corin's done a move so as not to get shot by Fen. It's not a bad move. It's not a great move. Well, Fen can slam into Biggs, <coughs> which if he's doing a three, just about anything actually he is. And Ahsoka does that. Oh, we gotta keep in mind though. So here here it is. Here it is. Ahsoka nice will be able to give actions to, uh, to Corrin Horn. Yeah. Just to keep him alive, you know, not not maybe. Not well, put here him she's in gonna position. have to decide if she wants to sacrifice herself. I mean, that that focus to. token up at the top with Kato means a concussion missile is coming. Yeah, she has to essentially. Yeah. So that's a bump and a possible range one. Yeah, bump bent into uh, in, into Corin. Yep. Oh, he went for the K. Wow, I did not see that coming. And a three K turn. Mm -hmm. Drew, which will put in range one for Soka. She mm -hmm. looks like she's definitely an arc. 
Yep. Well, Ahsoka's gonna die here. Well, Ahsoka could save herself. Oh yeah. So, by barrel rolling sorry, herself. Sorry. The Kong has to go against Diggs because it's only a focus token. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, that was my fault. Um. But we'll see if uh, if Ahsoka's in range one for Biggs too, because if, if she is, I don't know. Oh, she probably doesn't have arc onto onto Biggs. So I mean, the Jew is probably gonna shoot Ahsoka if he gets lucky. I mean, that's a dead Ahsoka. I mean, he can spend the focus to barrel roll out of Nadru's arc, but then there's still two arcs. The question here is, do you spend the focus to save Korn? Uh, he looks like he's going to do it, suspending it for something, let's see what he does. I think I would just take that range 2 from Ahsoka on the fin. I think Ahsoka's dead here regardless. She, exactly. she does, yeah. Exactly. So just freaking. But I think he's trying to hedge his bet so that if the Jew whiffs, Fen has to try and kill Ahsoka rather than to uh, try and have Corn be shot at by Fen in range one. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's go he is going to shoot. She's going to shoot at Fen in range two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or it's absolutely range two. Kato's at range three. I mean, it's just dice on dice here, so yeah. This is this is a great, uh, great shot. Oh no, he, 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 so. he could have been potentially a great shot for uh, yeah. against Fen here. Oh, and uh, the Drew blanks. Oh man, swingy. And now Fen Rao. Mm -hmm. Looks Great. like he, he's going after Osoka for one. Oh dear. Can oh, man. she roll She's in favor three? She yes, does. she can. Oh wow. So the game is swung back in Evan's favor here, unless. Well, well, he's still got to dodge the shot from the Zealous Recruit. Oh, that's that. That is true. That captured Tide Tower hasn't done any, him any uh, any favors this game, unfortunately. No. So now, what's happening? Biggs. So now Biggs is shooting, shooting into uh, Kato, looks yep. like. Uh, don't spend it, don't spend it. Oh. And he spends it for three. And so he that's, removes Kato's shield. Yep. Which might not have been best use of his focuses, but... Because here comes the concussion missiles. Yep. Now it's Kato, concussion missiles. Oh, gonna f okay. yeah. he, he was, was attempting. He was attempting to shoot at uh, at uh, Soka. Soka, yeah. but she was being protected. Concussion by missiles. So it is come. four dice, and yeah, looks like three hits and a crit. Three and a crit. Bigs, roll Bigs smooth. Eight. Eight. Oh man, he does take the crit though. Yeah, but he can ditch that. We can't see what that is, unfortunately, due to the glare. And he's uh, just ditching. Well, he it. integrates it. Yeah. So it's gone, whatever it was. Yep, yeah, not a bad, not a bad way to uh, to spend it integrated though. Well, Evan's been pretty lucky here. And now here we go, the a range one shot from Zelda's mm -hmm. recruit into Ahsoka. Rose looks like a one crit so far. Mm -hmm. Dice fell, fell off the table. And then Dodge Rose that, that one. Oh, only oh. one crit, only one crit. Ahsoka, oh, can totally you do it? it? She does it. Oh, oh my God, wow. and she lives. Such luck. <laughs> this is very bad for uh, for James now. Um, it is a bit of a mess for him, isn't it? Not only that, but you looking at looking at Fen, looking at the position of Soka, looking at Nadru, mm -hmm. they all they all don't have great moves to uh, to get out of arcs. I don't know if James remembers, but that that seismic charge pays dividends mm -hmm. once you drop it. Mm -hmm. James Not to decides to. Someone goes down. He can he can uh, grab captured tie again. Yeah, I mean James isn't in a great place. He can either turn away, turn into the fray, and hopefully nothing gets bumped. Mm -hmm. Nadru is on one hull, so if Nadru cannot dodge that seismic... Oh, Nadru has to go uh, has to go four straight, or three straight. Even if he does? Yeah, he's clear if he goes four straight. Yeah. Will a two straight do it for him? I don't think so. Oh, this has definitely become a game. Mm -hmm. Not I to mean, mention that Kornhorn didn't shoot that all that turn, now he can shoot again, so... Yeah. He's gonna hunt down somebody. The trouble he's... is Korn's position is garbage right now. You know what though, he, has, he does have the one bank, he doesn't regen, and he'll catch Kato. Coming in with that one bank. No matter what what happens here, Kato is dead. You make you, you mean make, Drew? Uh, no, uh, number three and Kato because yeah. Kato. What, what's she gonna do? A three K to try and catch Biggs? Does, does she do a two forward? Does she do there. a four forward? It doesn't matter here because Corin can just do a one bank and catch her there, and double tap her if he if he needs it to uh, to kill Kato. Well, if I'm Not, James, I just uh, plan a one straight for uh, the zealot. Oh, uh, they don't have one straights, unfortunately. They, do, they, do, they can't do two straights. Um, oh, two bank will achieve it, though. 
if he it's true. He, can, he wants to stay in place. Yeah. But it's uh, it's gonna be interesting what he does here to uh, to try and catch uh, Soka. That's what I do. Because that's the goal here, I think, to Keep catch Corrin from doing anything. Except Although that two talent, it's gonna be huge if he can, if he can uh, if he does it and takes a risk. With two talent, no, with uh, with Zell's recruit, that Ooh, puts yeah. it right in the middle of the fray, right in the middle of everybody. Yeah. And could potentially even block Ahsoka. Yep. I think he just three straight with Ahsoka. Oh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Ahsoka's in a bit of trouble. She, Actually, she, she can three hard away. She's in a good place to put down seismic charge, but I don't yep. know if actually it's going to do anything. A three hard to, to left might clear her and keep her safe. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see if that's the The great thing here is, is that Scavenger Crane, if he kills somebody, um, right, with the Scavenger Train in the activation phase, then he gets captured tie back before that's the true. shooting. That's true. And this. Oh, he does a one one hard, not Nicely. a bad call. He can now boost um, to get himself wherever he thinks. Let's see if he doesn't. If he doesn't yeah. boost here, that seismic charge could catch him and do two damage. Oh, yeah. him. Although no, he's not the primary target for the seismic oh, charge here, not. but but damage, you, only damage, need, yeah. you only need one to kill Fen. So, or sorry, Nidru. He's throwing down a target lock. Mm -hmm. So maybe he forgot about it. He's focusing. He's focusing. It's not a bad call, but he's trying to catch Ahsoka on a three heart baby. What's happening? Oh yeah, it's uh, Kato. So now it's Kato. Trying to do a four straight? I think it's Bank. Huh. Oh, oh no, it's Biggs. Biggs. Of course it's Biggs. Biggs. Yeah, that's right. Biggs doing its uh, three I think bank. I would have K'd Biggs there. Oh, it's, it's tough though. I mean, that rock... Oh, you would hit it, but uh, you'd be facing a good way for the subsequent round. It's true. Biggs, Biggs isn't is... in a bad place. I mean, he's... It's not terrible. Yeah. Despite everything else, yeah. all the damage kind of spread out on all his ships, so he's not in trouble at all. Mm -hmm. um, and Biggs doesn't need to be need to be there. You can use Biggs as a, almost like a primary attacking ship at this point. Okay, so the question is, where is he going to put Corrin? One forward for Corrin. Not a bad place, but I mean, that rock so. is not great. They don't have one heart. Um, so he has to do a barrel roll here. Does he try and go for Kato by barrel rolling? It really, really matters uh, depending on what Ahsoka does here. It totally does. I think I would barrel roll Corrin uh, up to in front of Fen. Fen is most likely going to do uh, Talon here or get the heck out. Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's hard to say which direction any of these ships are going to go. Nadru looks like it's going to do a three bank or like a four four. Just get out of there. I mean, even with the stress, you want to keep her, keep him alive so that he can take advantage of that scavenger train. He's going for the focus. It's not a bad call though, because we still have to remember that Soka can give him an action to barrel roll at the end of the yeah, end totally of the beginning right. of the combat phase. So, is that what we called? And then Soka. Mm -hmm. Don't he's forgetting the bomb. He's forgetting the bomb. He's forgetting the bomb. He's forgetting. Oh, he did forget the bomb again. Oh my god. It's unfortunate. Although maybe he didn't want to drop it, but it's, at this point, he should have dropped it. Oh, he should have totally dropped should've it. should have dropped it. Like, he, he did kill the Drew in the activation phase. Yeah. That Good was... call by James, though, for that one hard to catch Ahsoka. Yeah, well. Although, well, we'll see if he does it. Maybe he can focus here and barrel roll out of arc. But that doesn't bode well for uh, Ahsoka anyways, because Kato oh, I think, will catch him. I think he's re realized his mistake. Yeah. <laughs> he forgot about this too. Uh, oh, James is such a oh, James is letting him drop the seismic oh. charge. Yeah, class. Act. James is a superhero among class human beings. Act. Wow, man, I think even I would have been hard pressed to allow that. Oh man, he he also forgot it in uh, in our in our game. Yeah, where he managed to block my fan and yeah. just didn't drop it. I'm. Not as nice as the guy as James, and I didn't have him happy because no, that would you are not. That would have been the end of my pen. And I was like, all right, man. I mean, you You're put the template down, you move the ship, you did a you get a focus action. That's three triggers that uh, that we we've gone past, and that wasn't as nice. But he still managed to beat me, so he didn't really need a uh, despite despite all that. Didn't need a uh, mm -hmm. advantage. Yeah, that was real, oh. real kind of James For and sure. supporting. I mean, that ultimately is the point, right? You know, you want to be sporting when you're playing, because... Yeah. Uh, it's bumping all over the place. Yeah. 
Uh, that's close enough, I guess. Even though they should be parallel, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Now with the three bank, Drew can get out of there, but he doesn't. Oh, it's, that's a two bank. Mm -hmm. It's probably enough. Actually, that might well be enough. Yeah. I don't know. The nubs count, so. Yeah. That's a great place. Oh, he targets Terra Lock's bigs. Mm -hmm. Not corn though, because I guess he mm -hmm. expects him to barrel roll into range one of uh, bigs there. So Ahsoka did focus. She did, so she can still give uh, corn an action at being combat phase. Oh, and he went for a K. Went for, for a K. It's smart, but it means that Ben is going to be taking two damage here. It is. That was that was amazing, man. You gotta you gotta hand it to James for letting that seismic chart drop because he huge. knew he did a four K. He knew he was gonna get get hit by it. Yeah. And here we are. Like he he knew exactly what he was doing, and he saw that happen. He's such a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Great sport. Just out for the Drew. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna deal two defend. Two defend. Yeah. Yep, that's correct. What does he do with the focus? With the Soka's so focus? Soka is gonna g give. Uh, looks like he's gonna give Corn an action. I guess. Yeah, I guess he has to. Barrel roll him up board so he's close enough to Big so that he's not eating any of the primary <laughs> fire. That's true. I mean, all in all, that went pretty damn good for for Evan. Both of them are in both good and bad positions for all, for a lot of ships. Yeah, James. Yeah. James is in a great position for for later. I mean, that corn is gonna. The question is, does he barrel roll? Uh, does he push? I mean, I think you have to. He's got Nadru pointed at him, and I think Nadru target locked. Not only target locked pigs. And he pushes for the evade. I'd be so tempted not to push there. You know, that's interesting because he has full shields. The only person shooting at him is um, is Kato. And a Fen range one into a Soka for four damage. She's and gone. She's gone. I mean, she did a drop, dropped her uh, seismic charge. Did indeed. The three damage. I mean, Fen is on one hull, so that's a pretty major achievement. And then, uh, yep. So James did remember his scavenger crane. He gets his concussion missiles back and oh, fires Oh, and he now. fires it. Here we go. Let's get his uh, his bonus for extra dice for being range. Uh, Dude, that's four hits. Yep. Biggs blanks out, and uh, he spent his integrated, and that's the end for Biggs. What? That game shifted very quickly. Oh, it did, did, did. And James, uh, it's corn James versus Raider. the world. Yeah, that's corn versus the world. Rolls once for scavenger crane again. Gets a missile back. Oh no. Oh no. That only scavenger crane does it trigger twice around? Uh, I don't. I don't believe it has a has a. Claws in there for once around. I mean, you can do it as many times as you want as long as you don't roll a blank. So here, uh, looks like Evan has two focus and a blank. I'm trying to decide if he wants, fire, wants to uh, no focus reason not to spend it here. And he spends it. Yeah, absolutely. It's a two hull. Oh, oh and Kato lives. Kato lives. One hull. Kato should have shot first. No, Man. oh, I guess she figures it didn't matter. So, oh, Corn only does one on a double tap. And Kato lives. Oh, oh no. Well, James is like ever break. Oh my god. I mean, this is a game that that has swung back and forth Absolutely. wildly, and has has uh, if, if they manage to roll one more hit on any of the hits mm -hmm. that happened, the Drew, Kato, even Fenton, that that one shot that probably shouldn't have gone through. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, Evan was crazy lucky with Ahsoka, keeping her alive as long as he did. And it's at this point that Evan is in a really rough spot. You know, you, you would think that, um, but if, if Corrin can keep Fen long enough away so that he can stop picking off some chips, mm -hmm. I mean, the Fen and Corrin matchup could potentially mean that, no. Um, he managed to get lucky maybe on Fen. He only has one hull, but you have to remember that. Yeah, and it's, I mean, here's the thing. Fen will probably three straight here. And, and a boost, probably, yeah. yeah. And it's going to be hunting time on Corrin. 
corner and recruit. must three straight. The recruit cuts across, trying to uh, oh. get ahead. I would have done Cut three hard with him there. You know what, though? This is smart because he's going to get ahead of Corrin, who probably looks like he's going to the two bank. Uh, if he does a three straight, oh, even then, just keep him behind Corrin. Yeah. Keep the pressure on. Okay, let's one forward. Focuses. Maybe a target lock here. I mean, oh, yeah. he's yeah. not getting shot at, so might as well. And Corrin does. Uh, it looks like a two bank to the left. Yep. Great call by James with that objector <coughs> right, right there where he is. Mm -hmm. Just to uh, catch him as he comes around. Right. Don't think it's Arc's Dit's turn, but that means that it means that Corrin can't boost get distance away. <coughs> yeah, if he boosts in, then that then that uh, you know, protector is going to be jumping up in his face next turn trying to block him. Regardless, it's very bad here for Corrin. Corrin could potentially be taking two shots. At the mm -hmm. minimum, from the Drew who has concussion missile, mm -hmm. and from uh, from Fen, who could potentially do a two, a three straight maybe, and then a boost to get him range one. I don't think that'll fit, but yeah, that's what he's going to be trying for. Right? I mean, maybe uh, it's hard to say how how, how long that distance looks like. That maybe four and a half spaces. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll see what he does. Uh, this is a tough decision for uh, for Evan for sure. So what do you think Drew's gonna do? Is he gonna do it a one straight? Bank. It's a one it's bank. pretty easy call here to, uh, so, to keep him mark. So what Evan can do is he can barrel roll to the right with Corn as far back as he will go, then boost right. That's right, he can do that escape. And that will probably dodge... Uh, it's tough to, tough to say. I mean, probably dodge into Drew's arc. But Fen is still coming in three, and then he's tokenless. But at least he's away from the, the, the blocking of the uh, protectorate. It's true. After. But then what? The next one doesn't look very, very good for uh No, no. So Evan at all because he has to try to break this formation up. Like that's his only hope. Get these guys split up. It's interesting that James went and uh, downgraded his homing missiles into a scavenger plane from the Drew. Initially, when I played him for the first time, he managed mm -hmm. to table me. And I was playing uh, Inquisitor, uh, Pierce of um, Omega Leader, and a Sinar. And he just took a ship off every single turn. Yep. Doesn't matter what it was, it's just like, oh, Inquisitor takes four and dies. Yep. Omega Leader takes four and dies. But that was because of homing missiles, though. Now he, I guess he's trying to go for the uh, go for the matchup where, where they, don't, they don't have uh, evade tokens. So he can downgrade from concussions, do around yep. the same thing, but get the missiles back. As we've seen here, he's gotten the missiles back twice now. Yep. And what does he do? He tokens up. Yep. Then uh, no, oh, oh, we go that one forward. Straight. Wow. It's a good maneuver. He obviously saw the fact that um, that corn could have barrel rolled and boosted. I don't think he has arc. With him um. Here. Well, it's very it's very hard to call. Yeah, anyway, it's time to get that target lock, regardless. Yeah. And, and a two. Just a mere two, right? So now he can boost. Yep. Is he, is he far enough for a bank boost, or does it have to be a straight boost? Uh, it has to be a straight bank boost. Bank boost though. puts him towards the rock too much, so I think it'll just be a straight boost. Yeah. Yeah. Straight boost here. And that will give him range one and a target lock. And so Corrin is only going to be dealing with a range one shot from Finn. I don't know if uh, that's it, though. Then it drew that line oh, yeah, there is, is really narrow. Yeah. I mean, yep. Yeah. Until with a ruler, then you have no idea whether or not uh, Nandru actually has a shot. But if he does, though, oh man, five damage on, on Korin isn't that that much if you have nine dice. Yeah, if he's got the shot with Nandru, then Korin may well be dead. That's Korin. Mm, that's Fen, a range uh, one. Fen, yeah. Looks like it's going to be four hits. Four, pretty nasty. Oh, Korin only gets one, one naturally, so he takes two shields after the evade yeah. token. Good call. Brutal. Save that focus for uh, for Nadru in case he has a shot there. Oh man, it's gonna be close. Yeah. Looks like they decided like, he did. Yeah, looks like he has it. They're talking about woulda bins, coulda bins. Yep, here it goes. There we go. Yep, concussion missile. Yep, Corin needs to get incredibly lucky here. Oh, he oh. does get a bit of luck. So with a guidance ship and a concussion missile, oh, oh, only takes one. Keeps his shield. I mean, it keeps his hull. I mean, that's not, not not a, not the worst place for Cornhorn to be. I mean, it's pretty bad. <sighs> it's 
pretty bad. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he does next. Yeah. But he, he's a little bit hemmed in. Yeah. Um, well, that's but he's alive is the key here. Is that he, as sure. long as yeah. that ship's alive, he's, it's he's in a state of not kill. dead. Niju's got to go through that rock. Fen is gonna bank two. Yep, that's pretty. Kato is gonna K. Three K. Yeah. yeah. And the protector is gonna come in for a block. Yeah, I'm just two bank into Cornhorn. I mean, Cornhorn is pretty bone here. Yeah. Uh, unless he does something desperate, maybe he can K turn. I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> it's pretty bad for him. Mm -hmm. Ben just chasing him with no shield. I guess he can potentially just uh, two bank here. Mm-hmm. And normally you go for MOV, but at this point, top four game doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. So just focus. Or he's already got a target lock, so yeah, he's just gonna focus. Kato is a big guy. Kato through K. Wow. <laughs> James may will get through this without losing a ship. Oh, it's just barely hanging and, on, but definitely 100 0 win. And there you go to all the Z95 haters. That's true. Look at that. Two Z95s, very likely. Three straight for Corrin. <laughs> Two straight, trying to get away. It's he's not got a, to, he's got to be rolled to the right. Yeah, I try and keep Fen away from range one. Yep. And then hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully we come back around next turn, if mm -hmm. he's still alive. You know what, I don't think, even if he does B-roll to the right, he's, I don't think it keeps him out. Oh, he boosts. So he boosts. Oh. So, okay. And perhaps even a barrel roll, or does he go for the evade to make sure that uh, Korn has been surviving? No, oh, he's not forgotten his shield, that's good. I mean, Fen doesn't look like he'll be able to get range one this turn, so he might survive. He might mm -hmm. not. Even then, though, like it's th these are all desperate moves to try and get away from. Mm -hmm. I mean, where he's sitting right now, the, the 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 two bank right for Corin will just hit that rock. Oh, so he doesn't he doesn't push the oh limit, so he's planning to do a K turn, just to. Uh, he's just riding his luck right now. That's that's it. That's all he can do. Oh yeah. Fen barrel rolls. Fen barrel rolls. Looks like it'll be a range two. Mm -hmm. Push for a lock. I mean, yeah, what he's right got on the table right now just suffices to kill Corrin. Looks like it'll be a six dice. Yeah. Oh, and Najir just lazily banks away after he's done his job. <laughs> Keeping his last ship alive. I mean, why not, right? At that point, there's no point just throwing I ship away. Yeah. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Check the target lock, just no range. The only way he gets the concussion missile back is if he kills Gora. No, yeah, at that point. Yeah. You can have all the concussion missiles you want. Yeah. Uh, is it a range 2 or a range 3? You're gonna hold the ships down. Trying to fit that really in between. And Looks like a 2. Oh, it fits. Range 3, baby. That's range 3. So, Corrin just needs crazy lucky dice. Well, it's 6 on 8. Corrin has no tokens. Yep. Two hits, it's two hits from Ben. Only two. So three evades from Corn. No problem crazy, here. Crazy lucky dice. And then a zealous recruit. Three. Three hits. Oh, wow. Three, three evades. evades. Oh dear lord. Oh no. That was absurd. I mean, it's he's still not in a good position, but nope. That was pretty insane. That was Those better off than he was. I mean, so Corrin set up to do a K, but uh, we still got target locks from everybody on Corrin. We've got a five straight, straight. close the distance. Yep. Good call. Absolutely. He's still got the target lock from the last round. He didn't spend it. Uh oh. Yep. Does he bump? No, I think that was just ship it's models. Of a nudge. Messing with ship models. We'll see in a moment. Focus. Focus. Yeah. 
You know, so, I don't love that move because now he's in the way of a uh, yeah, Fen. Fen was going to do a bank too anyway. He's stressed. Oh, that's true. But he's, he can't boost in anymore. I guess a range three shot is actually advantageous for Fen anyways. Oh, and Corrin does three hard. Does he hit the rock? No, he's going to make it. Oh, that's that a was great a good call. call. Yeah, that's a great call. <coughs> now he's going to boost. Go hunt Nidru. Yep, very good move on Evan's part. Now he needs to focus or evade. He can't just be hanging out there with that. Although man. that two bank from uh, from Fen and then followed by one bank boost could potentially put him close. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I don't know if he's is well, yep, range one right. close, but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be deadly. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, you gotta do it, right? Like if yep. you're, if you're oh, Evan, yeah. you gotta try and pull I mean, pull gap just, closer. Yeah, you're just trying to make the, the least bad decision you're trying to make the most optimal decision um, in a sandwich made of something really unpalatable oh yeah so Fenso has two. a target lock and a focus I mean this yeah. is bad for Cornhorn at least it's not range one bad mm -hmm. yeah he's asking if you spent the target lock I think he might have actually uh, yeah okay I'm not I'm actually not sure I think he did well they're all oh, these are gonna require it so that's fair yep Smart move for Nidru. Nidru. You know what? It's still bad here for Cornhorn. Nidru oh, is now by awful. himself. He has three dice. Even with the brain strip struck a shot. That, if Corn even takes one from that. Uh, yeah, Nidru is just going to have his regular dice. Cause he's and he two. checks. Is he in range two? Oh, I think he might be in range two, actually. Yeah. Let's see. He picks up two dice. Focus for two. Five dice. Corn Evan, his dice holds thing. up. Yeah, no problem. And then and if Fan does target lock. Two hits. Oh, man. Yeah, he might well just... Oh, he oh, evades everything. Corrin, friggin' Horn. Corrin against the world, and he is doing fine. All right, Corrin shooting into the Drew for two hits. All right, you need to get real Drew on four dice. Does three evades, no problem. <laughs> Seems like this game just needs to be dragged out just a little bit longer. And Kato. Is Kato a range three? Looks like it. Double taps from, uh, mm -hmm. and oh, he gets does it. Drew. Gets the Drew. Well, oh, that at least was a ray of sunshine. Yeah, it's a little bit. Although, did they forget Kato's shot? Uh, I think Kato might be range. Nah, that's range three for sure. Uh, well, if they did, I mean, Kato's not not shooting, so <laughs> this is going to be interesting uh, to see what. But Fen is up his butt, like. I don't know what the heck you do about Fen here. I mean, I think you have the force issue to try and get Fen to bump, right? You can cut across close enough. Maybe he won't do a one hard. He has to do two hard here to clear his stress. I mean, this is too much guarantee he does it too hard. Unless you think that Cornhorn will turn outwards and then you do a two bank to just hedge your bets. But well, it's if to Cornhorn say. turns outwards and you've done a hard two with Fen, then you just barrel roll or boost and get him back. That's in true, yeah. So no problem. So I think the the, the, the the thing you're worried about if you're Fen here is Corrin does a one straight. Regen's shield. Barrel rolls back. And nope, stays exactly where he is. You hard two and you don't get a shot. But the friggin' yeah. zealous recruit will just power around the hard three and oh. get a range one shot. So yeah, the hard three is the right call, but does he have enough to boost forward? No, but he doesn't need to, just focus block. That's true, you're right. If, that is, if Corrin does the, the one straight. Lock. Here we go. Which I've suggested. No. Wow, really cautious Kato over there. being a little more Kato. cautious there. No need to, as we know, Corrin is double tapped. You know what, though? It's it's not in, as much in the bag as we think. If, we, if It's true. If Evan continues to get lucky like this, and he takes another ship off the board, suddenly you got a, you got a one, one hull fen against a Corrin who could potentially regenerate all his health. So we did do the two. And he is going to attempt to barrel roll back, I guess. And block, and block Fen. You know what, I don't think he can block Fen. I mean, oh, so he does do it. Yeah. I don't he know if to. it's enough. I don't know if it's enough. It might be. Well, it looks like it might be. If he moves a strip a little forward like that, I don't know if it's enough. Be, if he moves a little too far backwards, so he gets a range one from the Zealous Recruit, who has a focused target lock. Yeah. yeah he's got he's to hedge his bets here. He does. Can he nah, move? My feeling is James well. will actually have done the bank, too. I think so. That's definitely a safer move. Mm -hmm. um, 
and you can require. I mean, you're no rush at that point. Corn can't shoot this turn, so he can't, no, he can't. kill Kato. But he may have done the red hard one, which would be bananas, but a heck of a call. You know what? We called it really early, but it looks like uh, Evan is still bringing this back. Indeed. In a big way. And he evades. And he does the two bank. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to set him up for later rounds nicely. Yeah. So let's probably do a target lock in a hard one next turn. And probably do the barrel roll back thing. I don't know if he needs to, though. I mean, mm, a hard right. run's perfect here. Did Corn give himself stress there? Uh, he Korn did, did. Yeah. but for what reason? What did he do? Uh, so, Kato oh, shooting, he just focuses well. two. Oh, Corn blanks out, loses his shields from Kato. And now, the, does he have it? Does he have the range one? Nope. Well, only took one. He took an evade. That's right. Sorry. So, Corrin took one damage from the sh range two shot from the Where did James remove the target lock? Uh, it's still on him. It's up on uh, behind the ship right here. No, no. Kato lost his target lock. Didn't he roll two nats? Uh, he rolled two focuses. So oh, okay. He didn't have a target lock on Corrin. He had two focuses? He did. So he, had a focus. he did. I mean, he had it and James removed it. It was a mistake. I think it was, I think it was in Juju. Anyways. Any case here, um, anyone's game still? We got uh -huh. corn horn and one shield, one streak for Kato. Does to catch uh, try and catch corn horn doing one streak yeah, maybe? Corn has to do a three straight. And just to mark Fen to get the uh, I don't know three there. hard or something. Just get so as much three. turn out of it as he can. Or he can do a one, two, two hard just to get in range. I mean, it's not try to fit call. in between. Let's see if it works. I don't think it will, actually. Nope, it does not. Oh, yeah, perhaps it does. No, it's fine, though. The bump then doesn't really matter. He's no, trying to get him in, in arc. He's going to lock. Will Fen fit? Fen fits. Yep. That means that Fen can't do that one hard, unfortunately. So, well, uh, yeah, was he stressed? No. He wasn't, no. I think which might have been, I think that would, that's a better call, personally. Yep. Um, I guess he can maybe do too hard in boost in to try and catch Corrin, but it's hard to... It's hard. It's hard to uh, save that. Will actually fit. Yeah. Well, the three straight. Three straight. Necessary here. He's going to eat fire from both of those guys. Regen's another shield. He's now two shields and, a, and two hull. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that corn just will not die. Yep. That's what corn is doing. What corn's doing. <coughs> I think you boost and grab uh, an evade. Let's get a, a range for... Because you don't want to be sitting here in this position between looking at the, the, the sill and the charybdis of those two rocks. Yeah, that's true. The boost will get him, get him a bit of clear, and he does it. He does a bank boost, though. Yeah, it's okay. Not what I would have done, but it's better than nothing. It's not a bad call, because next turn he could probably K-turn, maybe, if he feels yeah. feel adventurous. Or he can just do a two bank to no, he's, right. he's got to grab himself a token. He's on four health, and he's going to have two dudes shooting at him. Is he going to push? That is the question. So he's boosted. He didn't push. Oh, wow. Huh. So, uh, Fen did do the one hard. Oh, he clears. And he clears. Boost in. Boost. Take, get a range two shot. Takes focus, and now it's. Push forward to focus, Shirley target lock shot. And here we go. Range two, three dice. Oh. The terrible first roll, but also a terrible second roll. Two hits again. Ben hasn't rolled triple hit yet. And <laughs> he rolls triple evade. Just, evade. just to really salt that wound, you know? <laughs> just, to, just to really drive home the point that I'm corn horn and you can't kill me. And I regenerate all my shields. <laughs> and you got the, what is it, range three from the recruit? Yeah, Rain Serum recruits, yeah. target locks, target lock. for two oh again. My God. <laughs> he spends a V token that he has, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I did. he doesn't have one, so he lost his shield. Uh, yeah, he lost one shield. Yeah, mean. His, his big plan here is to leave the K open. Or perhaps a three hard, you know. Uh, three hard. I don't know what's happening over there. Someone's having some zen moments. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of dicey. If... If uh, James isn't careful, he can, he can leave uh, Ben Rao at range 2 if, uh, if Cornhorn K turns. 
Did the he stress himself there or not? There's a stress up there on the table. Uh, he so he did, did the one bank he did focus. He did, one, yeah. Yep. And then a boost, and then a focus. So he is supposed so to So his only move is a two bank. In yeah. One of the two directions. And that's dangerous too because if he does that, he is in, in no shape to get into range for uh, to range one for Corn Horn. No. It means he could get stuck at range two. Corn does a 4K, double mm -hmm. taps him, kills him for that one haul, and then all of a sudden the, the tables have shifted. Like at that at that point, Agreed. James can't possibly win at that point. Wow. He can win. It's just not going to be easy. Oh, I man. think you do a once again you do a five straight with the or four straight with the uh, zealous recruit. That's right. And then you barrel roll northwards. Do you hide him behind that rock just to yeah. clear space for Fen? Yep. It's not a bad call. I mean, it might be it might be time to rethink the approach here to uh, maybe just let Cornhorn get away for a turn, and so he has to come in because Fen is not in a great place here to catch no, Cornhorn. Yeah, you know, I feel James is a more cautious player than me. I think he might just he well, might just he does a five not, forward. I mean, that's the five. That's that's the right call. That's the right call. He'll get a target lock. Even if he does K turn, he'll get a range two target lock shot onto uh, yeah. onto Zell's recruit. Oh, I'm sorry, onto Cornhorn. Yeah. So that's not a bad call. It's aggressive, but it's not bad. Um, Kato's is probably going to three K just to get back in. No, the play. last person Corn is shooting here is that Zell's recruit. Yeah. Well, that means that uh, James isn't going to do that two bank. He's probably going to peel off. Yeah, you're the right. Two hearts to his left. Yeah, or two he's, not to his even, right. he's not even K turning Kato. My bad is that he's going to two hearts to his, to, his, uh, to his left and boost to try and regain position. Come back next turn. He did it. Yep, he's the 4K. Mm hmm. <coughs> Kato's just went one forward to uh, get a position. Yep, he does a two hard. And the question here is, does he boost? Well, whether he boosts or not, he needs to focus. He's boosting he forward. That's that's a, that's a scary place to be because it's almost range it two territory for Fen, which is, as we know, is a it's a bad place to be in. Yeah, pushes for his focus. Oh, he has to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only other thing he could do is barrel roll, and I don't think he'd make it. I mean, that, that is a crazy tempting target for a corn horn who can double tap him. It is, and here's the thing. What does Evan go for? Range, range three. three. Okay, range, range three for both. He's going after Fen. I mean, it's a right call. I don't know. He's pointed at somebody. Nope, oh, he's going for the recruit. recruit. Okay, that's the right not call, a bad man. call. Two hits. Two hits, pretty good, pretty good. Range three, and got two baits. No, no problem there. Target lock is required. Requires a target lock. You know, he needs more fantastically lucky dice. Target lock. But three on Corrin. Oh, this is looking like it's it for Corrin. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Don't check his dice. He hasn't, ro oh he hasn't missed a single God. evade roll. That's insane. <laughs> oh, boy. Is he double tapping? Oh, he's gonna, well, he's not double tapping. It's a tough call, right? Because you don't really care about the recruit. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Get that out of there. He's not blocking you anymore. Oh, I saw what a double tapped. Oh, then say though, I mean, double tap, kill him, do a three straight. Corn's gonna get a gateway scott three. That does a three forward, and then a, uh, mm -hmm. and then a bank. Fen mm -hmm. can't possibly catch him there. Yep. The recruit probably can do a do a four K. But regardless, though, I mean that golden opportunity for him to uh, to kill Corn, it's slipping away. Mm -hmm. Kato's been kind of useless to hang out all, all the way by herself there. Maybe she should have three K and just. Pressured, but who am I to say? This is a good call. I think that blocks uh, the three straight. Two bank. Oh, yes. Tough call. Tough call. It's angled. I don't know if the three straight may hit that rock or not. I'm not even sure. But definitely blocks two bank that he might be thinking about. Well, the thing here with Corrin is that his greens only include the, the, bank, the bank two, not the one bank. So, you know, I think James may well bail. Looks like a green maneuver. Looks like a three, four. No. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a three straight four mm -hmm. bump. That's a bad place for Corn to be in right now. Um, you know, my feeling is James is gonna bail. Yep. Oh, James should have capitalized. I would have been greedy in that one. Yeah. And just took it too hard. I think he can still get arc on on Corn. That's tough though. He has to boost and get a get yeah. a barrel roll in. It. He can do it. And but then you're not you're not attacking with any modifications. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough call to see whether he he does it or not. But what's what, what's your risk? <laughs> That's true. It's no risk. You're right. So he should have double tapped with uh, Corrin last turn. 
for totes. Um, yeah, I think that was a missed opportunity for sure to, uh, for to, for him to do more damage. Mm -hmm. And here it is. Yeah. Here it is. And it's just dice on dice. It's on dice. Five, Five on three. Yeah. And Corrin's at four, so. I mean, he's he's he could potentially right die, here. but it's unlikely. Uh, looks like three hits. Three. Pretty nasty. Oh, he blanks Ooh. out, takes a hull damage. Here it is, guys. Yep. This is the end game. Copy no offense, set up beautifully next turn. Just seem to be missing a stress you should have, but. Yeah, I don't know what Evan does now. Uh. I mean, he's alive way longer than I thought he should be, anyways. But, That's you know, true. I just can't hold up forever. Mm -hmm. I think he does the three straight and tries to go deal with Kato. I expected more aggressive K turn there, but I guess that's good too. Put two bank and a boost to get him into position to catch him. Yeah, he'll probably just lock. Keep his slow hunt going. Yep. One four for Kato's. Not a bad call. Focus target Kato is on two. No, just one. Corn does a three straight. Yep, right call. And power has to boost here to avoid uh, Fen Rao. Absolutely. <laughs> Alternately, he could barrel roll. Right? He could, but the boost puts you him at an angle to K turn. Barrel roll north. He does a boost. And, uh, well, he has to focus or something. He focused, so nice to retrust. That's yeah. right. And Fen just does this. Comes back around for... It's too hard. I mean, he might be able to get in mark, but... Again, it's going to be having one of those barrel, boost barrel roll things. Yep. And, you know, with, uh, with two haul, he could do it. Yep. Money's on it now. Smart money. So that was a boost. He can attempt to barrel roll north. Or he can just focus. Yeah, he needs to barrel roll north. Well, no, he just target locks him. Okay. I guess he has arc range too. Yep. Feeling confident. Looks like a two crits and a blank. Just two crits again. Oh, and Evan has to spend the focus to live. Actually, yeah. he could take damage, but don't part is smart to not do it. Yeah. And then now he'll have to. He has an empty shot, or a blank shot into uh, Kato. One hole Kato. One hole Kato, here you go. So he just needs. The good stuff. Looks like it's one. Won. If he, he just took damage, would have been fine. Oh, he still dies. Doesn't matter. Didn't have to double tap for nothing. Oh, that was lucky boy. for him. Wow. And, Fen and Korn is in a great place to run now. He has run with Gen 2 shields. Yep. I mean, we've got to have a hard two from Fen here. Right? Hard two north. Oh, hard one. I mean, he doesn't have. There's not room to do it. Fen at run hall. You don't want to go with rocks. And we have 12 minutes, 12 minutes left of the game with. Uh, only 12. With James, right. yep. yeah. Up in 55 points to Korn's 48. So Korn has to kill Fen or the, all the, uh, the Zelda the Zelda recruit. Yep. Wow, it's really tight, man. It's a super tight game. And we, we were like, we, we were like, we called it way too early. We, we were like, we oh, oh, he's we done, were, he's done. But we no one could have, no one could have forced him to roll triple and quad evades against, uh, against those shots. Still, we were, like we, crazy, were, we were crazy, crazy shots to give him his funeral. Uh, That's a good call. Korn banks away. Just make sure, give him some room. It's going to be really hard for Corrin to kill either of those ships, though. Let's see uh, if he uh, regens that shield. He should, I mean... No, he's going to re... Yeah, 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 don't forget the shield. First thing you do, after no, you make the maneuver... Don't, don't, don't forget the shield, Evan. After you make the maneuver... No, he's boosting. See? I mean, technically, that's a missed opportunity if you want to call it on him. Yeah. You have yeah, to do it so. after you maneuver. Yeah, I think I would have just stuck there and done the focus. And and puts it on him. Yeah. So that's okay. I mean, that's it's fine. it's it's all in good sportsmanship. Right? It does it too hard, and he makes it. Wow, that was a heck of a gamble, James. That was a heck of a gamble. Yeah. 
I don't think it's necessarily worth it either. I mean, what's he gonna do here? To barrel back. Grab a lock. Grab a lock. I mean, Prepared that one hard one next turn. That one hard one, but it's not a bad call either, because he can too hard to turn the following turn. But I guess Is here. Corn stressed. Uh, Corn just did a boost, so I don't. He uh, should be. He has a focus. So he should be stressed. Yeah. I mean, it didn't maybe maybe it matters? Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. Corn's gonna be looking to regen his third shield though. Yep, you're right. Assuming they don't notice the missing stress, then I would count on Corn doing a hard three or a two. In fact, I would do a two if I were Corn, right? Because then you can. Yeah. No, I'd do the hard three. Give you ample space for a boost to come back on Fen, have a nice range two shootout if he dares to hard one back towards you. And we hit 10 minutes. Evan oh. will eventually have to kill something here. I mean, he, he pulled his game from the brink. He did. He was he came very close to just losing. Some maze balls of aid dice though. Yep. Hard three here. It's a good call. You don't have to be good if you can just be lucky. <laughs> well, Evan is good. <laughs> both. He's he is but both in this case. I would have never banked on him not taking any damage from that engagement. Oh, he, he did forget the he did forget <coughs> the stress, but I mean ultimately I guess it's it, Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. Um, oh, that was James's focus. Oh, so he didn't focus. That, oh, that makes okay. sense. I mean, yeah. Why, why would he oh, focus? He the Just make some space. I think Evan knows. Evan knows he has to go for that Zealous recruit. And he's boosting. I don't know. Uh, he is. He does. Yeah. Wow, that was ballsy. No, it's not a bad move. Clears him for uh, for the two back next turn to regen that shield and then to. So if Fen doesn't want to just barrel roll down, he might boost barrel roll. Or just... Okay, he could barrel roll boost. He could, but then he's got a naked Fen shooting at a naked 4 health core and it's not worth it. He does the boost. Oh, he does the boost, so he's going to have to follow that with a barrel roll or else rock city. <laughs> that was... Yep, yeah, I think that's what uh, yeah, he held the boot hit, barrel him was into baiting arc. him to do. Oh, bear mod work. Okay. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. To uh, just come around next turn, no, not smart, a bad call. Smart. smart. He can now do a two bank and a boost to, uh, to get in proper position. He, hell, he's got a shot. It's range three, range makes the shot. Yeah. With a lock. I mean, Evan's luck's got to give out sometime. Yeah, that's one hit. Two hits again, Fan. Two hits. Very reliable. And, <laughs> and nope. Corn give super up. dodges. Not this turn. Not this turn. Super dodge Koran. No, that Zealous Recruit's in trouble though, because if if Evan does Force a two bank right? and a boost, he can catch that Zealous Recruit. But if the Zealous Recruit does a five four and a boost, yeah. he can catch Koran. It's gonna be inter really interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet money on the fact that that Zealous Recruit can do five five four and boost. James knows knows what he's doing. Blockers, he's mm -hmm. gonna go for it. And Koran doesn't really have much time left. He's got seven minutes left to try and kill the ship. Yep. Ben's probably the best bet, but at the same time, he can't get Ben. You know, he has to. He has to really. Uh, and if he does it one straight and gets blocked, Ben kills him. Uh, I was thinking he's going to two bank here. I mean, here it is, like five straight and a boost. If he, if he did that two bank, the game's over. I mean, Corin could do one straight. He's got a lock on the zealous recruit. If he does do the one straight, he regens that shield. Oh dear, oh dear, will he fit? Oh, it doesn't look like he'll fit. Maybe? No. no. No, I don't think so. So he's got the one straight, two bank blocks. He could go through three straight. He tried and it. He tried one straight, yep. Not a bad call, but gets blocked nope. ultimately. And that is going to be the game, boys and girls. And Sven still packing that here. lock and then boost and push to focus. Yeah. Very well played both both these gentlemen. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, I think he had the three straight there. I think it was the only call. Just keep running. Oh, is that a range? So he he didn't get the range one. You know what? Well, we'll see. Did he get greedy? He just didn't. Oh, oh he, he acquired a target lock. Okay. I was wondering why I was measuring, but he oh. just acquired a target lock just to really check to make sure that he's, he's done range one. Um, yeah, I, I think that's greedy personally, but I guess, you know, whatever. We'll see what happens. See. Yeah. Uh, that's four hits on Corn Horn. That's four. And he gets one evade Eight. and lives. Yeah, so he just loses his shields again. Oh man. Yep. I mean, you gotta be thinking, I got six minutes left, gotta kill a ship. Mm -hmm. Do a K turn here and try and just 
crazy sweet god, or what do you do? What do you do? So, let's see, a 4K, can the Zealous Recruit block it? Um, the Zealous Recruit does a one hard and a boost, and probably block the three, but not the four. Yeah, so he doesn't um, do that. So, if we're, uh, but I mean, if Fen just does a bank two, then he's got range one. I guess Hulk one, one Hulk horn horn. Yeah, you, you no, so that's wish for. What do you, you can't do it. There's nothing else you can do at five and a half minutes, right? This is uh, this is a game of time, and mm -hmm. Evan's running out. Yeah, that that last exchange really did it for him. Anybody watching us? Ah, never mind. Well, I mean, that was a heck of a lot more game than we expected. Oh, for sure. So it looks like two aces on three bombers over on the other table. Yep, 60 points. And Alan still has 66 points left. Oh, we've got, sorry? Both the double straps. Both the aces? Wow. Yeah. It's so it's game really two. tight on the other table. Anybody's game over there. I'm That's what you expect, though, right? These are, these are really close games. Yeah. These are all really good players. So I don't think there's any real choice here for Corin. I think he has to get out. I mean, you can potentially play really fast, so through a three bank and like a, a three forward and then a bank to try and get a range for for Fen. But I mean, that's this is playing the inevitable here where it's going to catch you. Yeah. So he's just done a uh, Talon. Uh, looks like it's too hard. All right. He's going to boost back around. He's still got that. Tar oh no. It's oh, Talon. Talon. Oh, okay. No. Because the other thing for Corrin to do, right, was just to get the heck out, heading northwards. Yeah, that catches him. And boost and stuff, but if you get two guns on him then... 4K, here we go. He did it. This is it. I mean, even if he does kill Fen here... Daring young man in the flying trapeze? Well, remember, Fen shoots first, so... Yeah. <coughs> there is no killing Fen here. I guess really unlucky in these rolls, we'll see. Unless magic dice happens again, and yeah. that's a range one. Four... And with target lock focus. Looks pretty tight. Target locks for range one yeah. and focuses. Yeah. This should be it. Well, this should be it. I mean, unless Evan is made out of some kind of magic. Oh, oh. Only two hits so far. That was a hit. Yeah. And there is five. And that's, and that's five. Yeah. Nothing we can do. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Well done. Well, that was an exciting game. Corin yeah. almost, almost sticking it to Fen. And it looks like we're gonna have a top two.